unbiased investigators in film, in meteorology, in each place. The, metal, the, the UFO groups kept telling us we should give it to them. We said, no, we're giving it. It's going directly, just like a police officer. The evidence goes directly from him to the lab. They said it's going directly through us to Billy Meyer to the lab. And immediately, immediately, my newsletter started coming in at that time that the Billy Meyer case was a fake. <coughs> okay? With no proof. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now what have we got? We've got pieces of metal laying all over the place that are of earthly origin. We've got scientists in, in, in France and, and our own, some of our own scientists saying that these things are not from outer space. And yet, every one of you in this room right now know when you think UFO, you think outer space. But it's as I said, they're, they're, they're putting it to us. I said, well, if they're not from outer space, I already knew about the hollow earth theory. It didn't make a bit of sense to me. Hollow earth, we all know it's molten lava. So that couldn't be the answer. But then Bender was looking at it, so I said, well, there's several different answers. There's, there's, there's some that believe that UFOs come from under the ocean. Uh, Ivan Sanderson wrote a fabulous book called Invisible Residence. Uh, one Wendell Stevens put out called UFOs from Undersea. It tells all about how the UFOs that have been seen undersea. There's that, that idea. Then there's the idea that they're maybe from, from the jungles. I mean, uh, even our Pacific North winds, thousands and thousands of miles of, of, of place where people don't go. If anybody's ever driven to Alaska like I have, I'll tell you right now, you can have a lot of UFOs out there. Okay, that's another idea. Then there's, then there's the hollow earth theory itself. So I decided to take this information, take the hollow earth information, and take it and see if it's still held true. The last decent hollow earth book was written in the 60s. This is 1990. We've got a lot of information available. I mean, is, is this the most ridiculous idea you ever heard that the earth is hollow? Therefore, it shouldn't stand up to that. No shape of the imagination. It doesn't exist. Let me add just one thing from the heart. Dick, I salute you. Now, flight across the Atlantic uh, was a big test of a man. And they came up to the mark in every respect. And I am proud of them. And proud to be one of them. They didn't make this flight for glory, but uh, purely for science and international amity. And he said there was a little thing that was put on a grave back in the 1890s, and uh, that's since disappeared. And so it, it's just something that might have been from the UFO, but they don't know exactly where it came from, but it's going on now. We might have to turn off those lights. What do you want to do? Those lights. Take those off and put the ones on behind.